you very much, Carl, where you're hiding, uh, for inviting me to speak here with you guys about uh, Girls Club and uh, one of my favorite artists from the collection, Sue Ann Wong, who I'll be talking about her work and how that relates to feminist issues and, um, and the Asian community. Uh, sorry, I'm a little nervous today, so I've got my script here, so I apologize if I stutter a bit. Um, uh, what Girls Club is, is a nonprofit private foundation and exhibition space founded by Francie Bishop Good and her husband, David Horvitz. Um, our mission is to educate the public, nurture the careers of contemporary female artists, and to act as a public resource. Uh, we present exhibits pulled from the collection and public programs year-round. The Good Horvitz collection is made up of over 700 works. Uh, that includes photo, video, digital, installation, fiber artwork, uh, all of which is about 90% women, which is an incredible ratio if you've ever done any art history uh, research into gender equalities in Western art. So I'm going to be talking about Sue Ann Wong. She's uh, a Singaporean artist, now living in the U.S., uh, born in 1973. She spent her adolescence and early teens in uh, navigating Singapore's fairly rigid social norms and cultural policy, which had a, a strong emphasis on national unity, racial harmony, and loyalty above individuality. Uh, she said her attempts to rebel were uh, less than successful, succumbing to cultural mores and parental supervision, but themes of personal identity, social conformity, and cultural pressures remain a constant throughout her work. Uh, Suin's carefully crafted drawings and, um, and paintings feature a world of multiples, self-duplicates that explore these vacant expanses, sometimes of, of the paper white and also of some of the colorful uh, palettes that we'll be seeing a little later. Uh, visually influenced by social realism, she, um, she explores various facets of her personality, her curiosities, and vulnerabilities within the work. This fragmentation uh, alludes both to her desire to conform and this powerful individual push for, for individuality, inner push for individuality, uh, playing not only with um, stereotypes, uh, Western assumptions, and media misrepresentation of Western cult of Asian culture, but also of a dominating patriarchal uh, prejudices that have defined social behavior for women and, um, and people of different cultures. At 16, oh, I'm going to skip this little, little wording. Uh, Valerie Castle Oliver is a senior curator at the Contemporary Arts Museum in Houston and wrote a bit about her work and, uh, and noted with certain characters of Sue M. Wong's work that um, they cast their gaze outward, staring back at the viewer with what fellow artist Gata Amer calls double submission of the gaze. This idea of double submission, uh, an often used visual trope of contemporary feminist artists, refers to uh, taking images exclusively for the male gaze and representing them to empower the subject of the gaze, not the viewer. We see this a lot in feminist uh, work, Barbara Kruger's work. Lorna Simpson actually ref refuses that male gaze. And here, a lot of Sue Ann's uh, characters play around with that gaze. You see some of the characters looking directly at us, confronting us and confronting that gaze. Whereas some of the other characters are oblivious to the audience and, um, and act on their own, um, absorbed by their own circumstance. Uh, here we see a couple of pieces where Sue Ann's more provocative works feature her um, as this multiplicity self in various nude poses. Uh, here she's playing around and sort of beating the viewer to the punch, playing with objectivity, with um, marketing herself, as well as objectification. Uh, this is a, a quote from Sue Ann, uh, talking about her work as these, um, these dualities, these simultaneously existing polar opposites that, that you find in all of us. Um, as it is intensely personal, her work is, there is this universal crisis of self-identity formation, a personal variability and continuity. Uh, these are common themes every person confronts, but also pivotal to the progression of queer, LGBT, and feminist understandings. Uh, some of Sue Ann's work quite explicitly approaches um, lesbian narratives as a vehicle into understanding and exploring one's own sexual desires, affections, and curiosities. Homoerotic vignettes <coughs> are found throughout and represented in uh, different stages of adulthood as she talks about childhood, 
uh, adolescence and um, maturity. In her more recent works, these dualities are not only apparent in their subjects, but also represented visually in these split panels. While her characters float on these fields of opposing colors, their actions and personalities straddle these opposing virtues as well. Um, themes of social assimilation and belonging counter those of individual defiance and acceptance and independence. Uh, here we see one of those panels with uh, the popular cheerleader grouping and whatever virtues that comes along with. And um, another panel of a, um, two of the cheerleaders adventurously going off to explore uh, new sexual awakenings. Uh, playing with the effect of the nude female and this double submission effect, uh, Suen works toys with and at times subverts the sexuality of nakedness. Uh, here she is returning the female nude to a neutral and, um, and sort of taking it away from that objectification space where she is a sexual object. Uh, in some of her more recent drawings, um, you see that on a more intimate scale. You see her playing around with, um, with cultural stereotypes or um, images you readily see in Asian culture. Uh, this is my last slide. This is me plugging our exhibition that we have at Girls Club. It's curated by the TM Sisters and explores various themes about uh, metaphysics, feminism, and um, interpersonal and interstellar space. Um, you guys can check us out online on Facebook, and if you have any questions, let me know.